Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for Capricorn singles. Today we're going to focus on new love. If these messages resonate with you, if you're after a private reading or you like the cards that I'm using, you can find all that information in the description box down below, as well as the links to TikTok and Instagram if you guys want to follow me for additional content on those platforms. Feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right, Capricorns, let's see who is coming towards you. I'm going to start with some Oracle, some Kipper deck cards, Kipper cards. Whoops. We get thief. All right. So this person, I heard it sounds a little bit cheesy, but this person's going to steal your heart. That's what I heard. Or they may, there may be some sort of third party interference as in they, you might be in a relationship and this person is plotting about how to win you over or to win you back. They could be living at a distance from you with this journey card. Okay, and we get despair. Yeah, this person, I think what's going on here, Capricorn, now of course it could be your energy, but this person, if you're seeing somebody else or they... Maybe they heard some sort of gossip or they think that you're seeing somebody else. They are not happy about it. All right, we get main female, so this could be your energy or their energy. Remember, these are not gender-specific readings. So this person wants to be your main person. Now, it is possible that you're casually dating and they have found out that you're seeing other people or vice versa. Um, but some, but they are not happy about what has happened or what they have found out. Like this person, they want to make you theirs, okay? Some of them, they, it could be that they're a little bit upset because you guys are at a distance or when you meet. Um, there's some sort of obstacle to you guys coming together. But I like that main female energy because this person, they want to be your main female or main male or main person, rather. All right, let's go ahead and see who is this person. Tell us more about this person coming towards Capricorn. They're very passionate. They're very romantic. This is also, I feel like this is somebody who, who usually is very put together. If you've met them, you could have also, it's like if this person is somebody who's coming back into your life, like that you were friends before, or you worked with this person in the past, or even for some of you, you may have dated this person in the past. They've been through something that hasn't been so easy. Okay. So I don't know if they, you know, they, if they had an illness or they had a job loss or, you know, they went through something that was kind of difficult. They could have also lost, lost a family member. You could be dealing with a Leo queen of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So for many of you guys, this person, Wow, this person, this person is such a bright light, despite what they've been through. I also feel with the Queen of Pentacles, though, that this person, they may be in despair or upset because they've either been through a divorce or separation where they may have lost some sort of money. And I see that they might be, they, I'm not saying that this person is in poverty or they're in financial ruin, but they've lost a considerable amount of money or resources, most likely due to a divorce. So either you guys are going to talk about that or you know that about this person. I do also see that this person may have suffered like a health scare or been through something that, that, you know, that was very hard on their health. So something pretty serious. All right. Their action towards you, the fool in reverse and the knight of wands. Yeah. So this person is really, they're sort of of two minds here. I think this person really worries about whether or not they're good enough for you, whether or not they can, you know, they can, they can, they can make you theirs. I know that sounds kind of crazy or like win you over or steal you away from your current situation because the fool card Aries energy in reverse tells me that they're a little bit nervous about taking a risk. They feel like they don't quite have the resources right now or that they don't have their life together right now, but they have this burning desire to rush towards you. So for some of you, I'm kind of getting, you know, they're in this energy of F this, I'm just going to do it. You know, I'm just going to show up at Capricorn's house or at their job, or I'm just going to reach out but they're like really building up their courage, but there's something in the 3d either a divorce or separation or an illness, or they've lost some finances, but they're, they're, they're in a little bit of a weird place here, Capricorn, but I feel like they are going to take that risk anyways, because they do feel that you are their person. Now, for some of you, they might be waiting to just recover from whatever this is, how you're going to feel about this seven of wands and the six of swords. Interesting. So for some of my Capricorns, you may not accept this person. 
okay, with the Seven of Wands because you're in a very positive, very loving space. You're also really protecting your energy and it's kind of like you don't want any drama. You don't want anybody who's going to bring you any problems or any drama or any heartache. For some of you, this is a past person, okay, and I do feel with that Seven of Wands, you may be pushing them away. Um, they and, and I think they're, they preemptively kind of know that. Um, that they need to sort of go work on themselves or build themselves up or just sort of or just deal with whatever this is that they need to deal with. For some of them, they need to get healthy. There could be like an addiction. For others of them, it's it's, you know, and I don't see you being so shallow that because they don't have a lot of money that you're going to reject them. But they, they do need to work on their finances or on their health or on just getting balance again. Um, because they don't want to come off foolish, but I also feel like they, they feel like they need to talk to you. They feel like they need to ask you out. They really want to be close to you and they may be considering taking, um, you know, doing something. And when I say drastic, I mean like that could be showing up at your house, at your job, or just showing up at your front door and being like, look, I know circumstances aren't ideal, but here I am. This is how I feel about you. But we have the six of swords and the seven of wands. I do feel some of my Capricorns, you may turn this person down. Um, because we see her sort of alone on that boat and, you know, it could be that you need more time. Um, maybe you're recovering from a divorce or a separation, or you're very focused on your finances, the nine of pentacles, Venus and Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo Leo cusp. Um, but I also feel that you're in this beautiful space, nine of pentacles, like having everything that you want, having everything that you need. So you want somebody to come at you that's going to sort of meet your energy and not bring you any drama or any problems. But for some of you, it's possible that this person, you knew this person when they weren't doing so hot, when they, when they weren't at their best and that they've taken this journey and now they're sort of doing much better and they're coming in full force, but they're nervous because they, they're worried that you might reject them. But I do feel for some of you, this person has, this could be like if you knew them in the past or when you first met them, they were, you know, recovering from something here. Interesting energy. So the Seven of Wands is about, um, you know, I still feel like you're going to be in protective mode though, because it's possible when you first met this person, they're very different than they are now. You might be worried. You're, I feel like you're, you're very focused on yourself, on your health and calling in somebody who's going to match your energy. But this person has a lot of passion for you. Um, this person's very attracted to you. And this person is willing to sort of go through great lengths to sort of level up to be with you. That's what I'm getting. All right. So a few different messages there, you guys. Let's see what other, what else can we find out about this person? You know, the Six of Swords can also be, though, you know, you're going to take your time to think about it, meditate on this. Um, you know, especially if this person's been through a major transformation and the Six of Swords can be you guys moving on together as well. You know, like having peace of mind that, you know, you know who this person is and what they've been through. Okay, we get cultural differences. So this person could be of a different socioeconomic, racial, cultural, religious differences from you. All right, and we get addiction. Some of you guys, they did suffer addictions in the past, and I did pick up on that. But I do feel like Spirit's showing me here that this person, they have very, very strong feelings for you. Um, they are going to come in. It's like come in hell, hell or high water is what I'm hearing, which I don't normally use that term. But it's like this person's going to come towards you even if they, even if they, even at the risk of looking foolish. And for some of them, they have really cleaned up their act. So it's really up to you with that Nine of Pentacles to make healthy choices, Capricorn. And also, I feel like Spirit's urging you to hear this person out. Okay, non-committal. All right. That could, I, I just heard they may have been non-committal in the past. And judgmental. All right, this could also be your energy a little bit, Capricorn. I feel like Spirit's just urging you to not rush into anything, um, you know, to not pass judgment one way or the other before you really hear this person out or you see, you know, because I do feel that there's something that they've been through that has changed them either for the better or for the worse. And Spirit's saying just really don't rush into this. Don't make any commitments. Use your best judgment because I do also see that this person with all of this fire energy, they may, you know, want to come rushing in they might be all about the physical but to not get you know to not get totally wrapped up in that so I do feel there's a little bit of a warning here just to take things slow you know um, not rush into anything protect your energy 
yeah, we also get unfaithful. So we see that with thief. So it is possible this person uh, was in a third party situation, is in a third party, or that you're with somebody else. So we do get a little bit of a warning here, Capricorn, with this person. But they are absolutely broken up about the fact that you guys can't be together. You may not see this. And again, this person might make some like grandiose sweeping gestures about coming to see you or inviting you for a weekend away or something like that. But with this Knight of Wands energy, it's still a night. And the Knight of Wands can be very in and out with the Fool in reverse spirit maybe saying, hey, don't, don't jump into anything here because this person, they may not be quite ready for a commitment either because they still need to focus on their health or their, you know, get finding balance or they're still in another connection because they are sort of alerting me to that thief card to go back to that energy. There's something that you need to really take a look at here. All right, let's see what what other messages we can get. So we get hedonist, inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrates the beauty in yourself, but the shadow attributes pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulge at the expense of others. So you could be dealing with somebody who is, is in a little bit of a selfish energy, somebody who overindulges for many of you, it may be that they've had addictions in the past or they still do. You know, that can be sex, drugs, rock and roll, whatever. Okay, it can be spending. Just be aware of that, Capricorn, because I do feel that Spirit's telling you just to be careful, especially if this is a past person. They want to be your main person. They see you that way. But there's something here Spirit's telling you to protect yourself against. Liberator, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. Yeah, um, ignoring legitimate constraints. I do feel Capricorn, this may be somebody that you already know. This may be a karmic connection, somebody that you may have worked hard to sort of free yourself from. Maybe you guys used to party together. Maybe you guys were in a connection and it was very off and on. It could have been a third party situation. Maybe you knew this person was married and, you know, you worked really hard to just sort of move away from them. Yeah, look at that. Capricorn, I wish the messages were a little bit different, but now we get Don Juan. So using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. Wow. So we get judge, we get non-committal, unfaithful. We get Don Juan. We get hedonist. Who is this person? <laughs> this is somebody I think you've had a lot of fun with. Okay. Somebody they, you know, somebody, you, and I think they're, they're upset that, that you're not their main person, but I do feel that you need to protect your energy against this person. I know these messages are kind of shifting, but you know, I can't, I can't deny what the cards are saying here. All right, let's go ahead and see what else comes through. A little bit of a warning, not a little, kind of a lot. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So I do feel if you know this person from the past, Capricorn, they haven't quite changed. I also think just beware, do your background checks, you know, take time, don't rush into this because you may feel that you may find out that this person has a pattern of like loving them and leaving them. New love or recommitment to love is developing. So spirit saying this could be a new person or this could be somebody from your past. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Okay, some of you guys, it's a past person that you've had, you have a lot of history with. You have a very strong cord. This is somebody that once or has made you very happy, but I feel like you've worked really hard to move on from this. You've really worked hard on setting strong boundaries. Um, I, I just feel like spirit saying this, this would be like a one-off thing. It won't be, they won't be able to come in and offer you safety, security, and stability. Even if it would be, you could have a really great time together. I don't see it lasting you guys. Okay. So whether it's a new person or a past person, spirits just saying Capricorns, just protect yourselves. You could be dealing with a Leo. It could be an Aries. Um, it could be a Leo Virgo cusp. Okay. So we get psychic connection. Your communication goes beyond mere words. Yep. So this is somebody you're very, you know, you may feel each other even though you're apart. Um, just trust your intuition. Yep. Signs and clues. The universe is talking to you. So trust your intuition. There's something that's a little bit off. Okay. If it seems too good to be true, Spirit's telling you to use your best judgment. And we get twin flame union. Some of you, it is your twin heart, body, mind, and soul. 
For some of you, if you are on a twin flame journey, I do see that, you know, this could be somebody that you believed was your twin. Um, but I feel like more than anything, they are a karmic soulmate. That's what I'm getting. Um, you do get honest communication, expect a heart to heart communication. So you might be telling this person exactly how you feel. I do think this person has very strong feelings for you. Okay. But they may be putting you into a third party situation. Maybe they're going to be straight up and honest with you about that. Okay. Again, you guys make your own decisions. Um, but for a lot of you, it's about getting to the truth, using your best judgment. And if you're looking for something safe, stable, and secure, I feel like this person is not going to be able to offer that. And many of you guys, you're going to hold yourself in high regard. You're going to hold back, do your research. Don't jump to conclusions, but many of my cappies out there, you guys are going to be moving on. Okay. So maybe not necessarily the messages that I wanted to give you, but somebody out there needs to hear this. Okay. Okay. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.